Turning to other news, grim news for employees of struggling HMV, the last large music and entertainment chain in Canada. The retailer is set to close all 102 stores across the country, throwing more than 1,300 people out of work. The company went into receivership amid sliding sales and huge debt. CTV's John Venavalli Rao has more on this latest victim of the digital download revolution. Um, I got the Iron Giant. At HMV's flagship store in Toronto, shoppers are loading up on movies and music. It's mostly TV like series. Happy to snag deals, but disappointed in the reason why. It kind of makes you want to cry. Emotionally, I, I am sad. For those who still love to wander around an actual store to buy CDs and DVDs, the news this national chain is closing is kind of a final blow. I would have thought this place would be here forever. It's the HMV sale. Spun off from the original British company, HMV first opened in Canada as a music store back in 1986. In more recent years, adding things like collectibles and clothing amid competition from digital downloading. In the end, though, it couldn't compete. I don't think they really could have done anything differently. I think it was, uh, it was, it was inevitable. Owing nearly $40 million, an Ontario court put the company into receivership. In all, 102 stores will close, affecting about 1,340 employees. The company will now liquidate its inventory in the coming weeks with the stores slated to close by April 30th. HMV, among the last of a long list of brick and mortar entertainment retailers, like Sam the Record Man and Blockbuster Video, unable to survive in these digital times. It's really hard to compete with Spotify and Pandora and Google Music and Apple Music where they have 47 million songs available for one price as opposed to walking into a store and picking up a CD for $15.99 for 10 songs. Still customers say they'll miss going into a store and interacting with others. Everybody's going to end up going online to shop and uh, sounds like we're all going to become hermits. And while it's not quite the day the music died to some, it's close. John Vinavalli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.